Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are gonna be talking about Copa and how it's gonna affect so many Movie Star Planet YouTubers. I'm not saying this in a dramatic way, but Movie Star Planet might be kind of like banned off of YouTube. Not banned in where you can't post, but every single Movie Star Planet YouTube video may have the comments disabled, may have the like button disabled, may have the subscribe button disabled on the video. You won't be able to add it in playlists. All this stuff is crazy. So keep on watching if you are interested in that and you want to know what could happen to all the Movie Star Planet YouTubers. Like I said, I'm being a little dramatic in saying that it's banned from YouTube because people are going to be allowed to post what they want. But if it is considered made for kids, there's going to be drastic changes. Before I begin, I just want to say thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. I know that the Last week I've been really busy with school and I haven't been posting. I really really want to get back to posting three times a week. Hopefully with this new rule coming around in 2020 I can still be posting Movie Star Planet videos and be able to communicate with you guys but we will have to see how that turns out. This video is meant to tell you guys what is going on in order to make you guys aware of what's going on instead of making you guys very confused when it happens in 2020. So that is the whole point of this video. It will affect every single Movie Star Planet YouTuber that you watch. Almost any other YouTuber will be affected as well. Unless they make content that is obviously for adults, pretty much anybody else is going to have to question if their videos are made for kids. So before I begin talking about more into Copa and what it is, I just wanted to explain what I'm planning on doing if the worst happens. So if my videos have all the comments taken off and have no likes and have like just everything taken off that you guys can interact with, I am thinking about moving on to Patreon. I'm still going to be posting YouTube videos, it just won't be Movie Star Planet because if YouTube is kind of like kicking off Movie Star Planet from YouTube because it falls under four kids, I will plan on moving to another platform so that you guys can still watch my videos and interact. I will definitely be making another video updating you guys completely on what I'm planning to do once I see how the actual regulations and everything are. So make sure to follow my Twitter and my Instagram if you lose notifications because that's another thing that YouTube is planning to do. For channels that are for kids and make a lot of videos for kids or videos that are marked for kids, they will lose all notifications. So even if you have your notifications on for my videos, you will stop receiving notifications because as you'll see in the rest of this video when I explain it further, that takes analytics from children and that is what is the problem. So, Patreon is a paid membership. I'm gonna make it as cheap as possible because I'm definitely not doing it for the money. I'm trying to obviously make something from it because it does take a lot of time to make these videos and I obviously need to make some kind of money because if you guys didn't know, I was able to quit a part-time job I had while I'm working with school in order to focus on YouTube, which makes me able to make videos as often as I do. So obviously you guys know if you didn't, I'm kind of shocked, but basically on YouTube, you do make a certain amount of money and that is also another factor in this. But obviously the main point of me wanting to switch to Patreon is because I want to be able to talk to you guys about my videos and I don't want it to be like I'm posting it literally for myself on private because I can't even get comments from you guys or any interaction at all. So other than that, I will also be no matter what moving to Twitch for live streams only. In a community tab post, you guys saw that I was talking about Twitch and I was like kind of teasing it and I will definitely be moving to Twitch. If you guys don't know what that is, it's another live streaming platform other than YouTube. YouTube's known more for videos. This is just for live streams pretty much only. You can still post videos, but it is definitely more for live streams than for videos. My Twitch will be linked below and it is free and easy to create an account. It's just as easy as YouTube. So you will have no problem creating an account. It is very, very easy and you can watch for free. If you do have an Amazon Prime subscription for Amazon, you can subscribe to my channel for free once I earn my subscribe button. But other than that is totally free and you are not expected to donate. You are not expected to even become a member of my channel. You can decide to and I would greatly appreciate it. But all that is not expected. I just wanted to live stream more and I feel like Twitch is a better platform to live stream on than YouTube. I know this might frustrate some people that don't want to go to another platform and just want to keep using YouTube. And I totally understand if you don't want to go over there, but I will be live streaming Movie Star Planet 2 exclusively on Twitch. I will also be like when I get the early access code, I will be live streaming from my phone on Twitch. So Twitch is really besides my review of the game, 
Twitch is really the place you guys should go to watch the live streams of me reviewing the game and seeing how it plays more than just my review. Okay, so enough about what I'm planning to do in the future, now let's talk about what has led to these decisions and what could possibly happen. Okay, so by the way, I've been trying to make a look while I'm talking and I get so distracted, so I'm sorry if the like screen is like frozen for like five seconds and then I start doing it again. I'm trying to focus on the look as well as talking, but I have so much to say about this that I'm trying not to make this video super long. But basically what the problem is with YouTube right now is that COPA is enforced by the FTC. And if you don't know what that is, it's just like the basically the government and they're enforcing this Child Protection Act where it's basically like you can't take analytics from minors and they consider minors anybody 12 and under or everybody under 13. I guess that's the same thing, but basically YouTube has been taking analytics from everybody for years and recently they were fined $170 million for taking analytics from minors. So instead of trying to make their system right or trying to make YouTube kids a better place where people are only putting their kids on YouTube kids, they are punishing all the creators. So people that make family friendly content are people that are starting to have to question are their videos made for kids. Every single time I post a video, I have to look on my video and decide is it made for kids, is it not? In the rules, which I'll put up on the screen now, it says that cartoons count as for kids and also that your main audience doesn't have to be under 13 as long as it attracts people under 13. So this makes me question like, is this for kids? Is this not? Because I have never made my videos aimed for kids. Like I don't swear, I don't do anything like that, but I have never really made my videos aimed for kids. So it's really frustrating because I could see YouTube looking at my videos and thinking, oh yeah, this is for kids. So it's really frustrating because I don't know exactly what to do with my channel because I don't know. But other people have been telling me like Katie Darling, MSP and Melville, we have been talking about this and trying to figure out what we should do with our channels because we don't want to lose all the progress that we've had on YouTube and like lose all the support from you guys obviously it is not this drastic like we will still be able to post videos it's not like they're completely shutting down our channels but when we post our videos they're going to take away the comments so we'll never get to hear what you guys think about the videos which is a huge part of our videos like obviously we make the video so that we can hear a response from you guys and see how you guys like it and think if our videos are cool stuff like that they might even remove the like button and the subscribe button so you won't be able to subscribe from our videos you'll have to click on our channel and go to the channel page which isn't the hugest thing it's more just kind of annoying also the like button like it's not as huge as comments to me but I still like seeing that you guys like the video and when you guys like it, it just it makes me feel good seeing that you guys like the video so those are some of the major things as well as you won't be able to add videos that are made for kids on playlists basically anything that takes away statistics from the video will not be allowed to be done since the main thing is that they can't take analytics from kids they are trying to take away every single thing that could give them analytics just in case the person on the computer is a kid. So I think this is like, obviously I care about children's safety and I know that there are definitely a few at least of you guys that are under 13. So I'm not saying that my channel is totally like no under 13 because Movie Star Planet can definitely be seen as a kid's game as well as a teen's game and even some people play it as a young adult. So like, honestly, I can see it as falling under all age groups and I feel like every single YouTube video falls under all age groups. Looking at the poll that I posted before recording this, I can see that a lot of my audience is over 13. Like when I looked last, it was over, like it was almost at 80% of you guys are over 18. I know that this is, it was only like 50 votes and I have 15,000. So it's a little bit crazy to just like generalize that many votes to everybody but it definitely does show that a lot of you guys aren't under 13 which might even help me keep my channel how it is like i said i do not want to move to patreon i don't care about the membership money or whatever that i would get from that i totally want to stay here where most of you guys are and i don't want to make you guys have to move that is just like the worst case scenario basically i'm just kind of worried because i have made these videos like obviously not as long as some other people but I have really put a lot of time and effort into YouTube and a lot of time and effort into the videos and to just see all of it kind of go away and not being able to talk to you guys like it just is kind of sad. 
Obviously, I'm not going to stop YouTube, so even if I did switch to Patreon, I'm going to make a different kind of video that wouldn't fall under kids so that I could still talk to you. So basically, you guys would be getting double the content, but you guys would have to go on Patreon if you wanted to see Movie Star Planet. Lastly, before I end this video, I just wanted to tell you guys that there is a poll going around that people have been signing saying that they think this is not okay for YouTube to do and that they think that YouTube needs to strongly reconsider or at least the FTC, I don't know exactly who would have to reconsider in order for these rules to change. But I do know that the poll is going around and many people are disagreeing with this. So if you are for family friendly content and you don't wanna just have YouTube full of just swearing and a bunch of videos that are really kind of negative and just like I guess not negative but just not for kids if you really want to keep family friendly content on YouTube make sure to sign that poll it would mean a lot to me the other movie star planet youtubers and just anybody that's family friendly YouTube in general I know this video is like totally different than what I normally post I just thought it was important to keep you guys updated on what I've been thinking about and kind of worrying about and I'm just kind of nervous for the future of my channel. Other than that, I will be making more YouTube videos leading up to January 2020 and I will definitely make another video updating you on what my final decisions are moving forward once I realize how these rules will affect me. So like I said, make sure to follow my Instagram and Twitter so that you guys can be notified since YouTube might take away my notifications before I'm able to make that video. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'm so thankful for all the support you guys show me. I don't know what this look is. I was so like focused on talking that this look is just awful. So we're going to just finish this really quick. Oh no, not Crocs. Uh, okay, we're going to just... I'm trying to find something to put for white shoes. Oh no, I should have finished my look. Okay, we're going to just make these all white. Oh no, I don't want to spend diamonds. Okay, this is the longest ending of a video ever. Ew. Okay, yeah, this, this look is over. It's, yeah, it's canceled. We're gonna just go with this look. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. And love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah.